Hello Pisces, how are you doing? How's everybody? Yes, honey, I'm just getting out the shower because I've been outside working all day cutting the grass. And I live on a lot of property, but I've been cutting that grass, honey. I just came out. It's not, I had to do it today because it's not, it's not hot, it's not humid. It was the perfect day to do it. So I got it done. Thank you, Jesus. And um, I feel really good because my yard looks so, so good. It's like when somebody get a haircut, you know, a guy get a haircut and they shit be tight. That's how my grass look right about now. So let's get started. And you know what? I push a lawnmower. I don't drive the one that you drive around. I push it. It's a lot of cutting to do. And it's it takes at least two to three hours to cut my yard. And I'm not lying. I've been doing this on my own since I got the house. Um, but I thank God for everything. It's good exercise. I'm a little tired, but I took me some aspirins and I must move on. The show must go on. So now I'm spending my time with you. So Pisces, thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who get private readings and donate. And thank you to Tawana Smith. Tawana Smith, thank you for all the things that you do for me. I thank you so, so much. And to all the others, okay, a shout out to Tawana Smith. She's been with me for many, for uh, since I started. And I see her grown. She's becoming a grown, big old flower. She is the one that I keep telling y'all that does the chakras. And she's a doctor when it comes to the chakras, okay? Another thing I want to say to y'all before I get started with anything um, if you plan on opening a YouTube or whatever you plan on doing, do it the way you want to do it. And don't let nobody correct you. You do it the way you want. There's all kinds of readers out here. We got ghetto readers. We got fancy readers. We got, re you know, sometimes, you know, I watch other readers and they be talking about some, I don't know how they call themselves this. And they did. How the hell are you going to tell somebody how to read their cards and how to set they or you know, throw their cards out. You can't tell nobody. You see, the problem is, instead of giving people a hands up, they always trying to tear the next person down. So I'm letting you know, as a reader, I read the way I want to read. Okay? Everybody has their own style of reading. All right? For the reader that did say that, she gets mad when people say negative things about her. But she throws out negative things about other readers. And she should be ashamed of herself. And I'm going to tell you, she ain't a black reader. She ain't a Spanish reader. She's a white reader. She need to stop. She really do. And I think she's an excellent reader. I call her one of my favorites. But she can be a turn off too. By the things she say. It's not right. I feel like she's very throwing negative energy out to readers. Um... When they watch her and they just starting off or something like that, she's very negative. Like, um, you you need to be just grateful and focus on your YouTube and not nobody else's. So I'm telling all the YouTubers out there, you got a unique style of doing your readings. Do it if you ghetto as fuck and you smoke weed on your re doing your readings, or if you drink. Or if you fucking obnoxious, it's your business. Do it the way you want, honey. Make that money. Do you. Give the best to you. I don't care who you are. I don't care what kind of way you read. Let's not knock the next person down. Everybody has their own style of reading. Okay? Some readers, it's like going to college. They're good teachers. All right? And some readers are really... Um, you know, like a Pinocchio, like, uh, you know, like, let's do it this way, or, 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 or I should say a professor. This is my way and my way is the right way. No, it's not. Your way is the right way for your YouTube, but it's not the right way for everybody else's YouTube. So I'm just saying, cause I mean, uh, I really like this young lady. I really, and then she ain't young. She's probably my age, but I like her, but. The things that come out of her mouth is like, who are you to say that this person can't say that they this kind of reader? Oh, whoever watch her believe in that, they gotta be crazy. Uh, they gotta be crazy. Ain't that some shit? All right. This and I wanted to leave a comment on her YouTube. Okay, I really did. 
But I had to pray on her. And like I say, I love all readers. And I love, you know, everything about them. I won't want to change anything about none of them because I think they're excellent the way they do it. I got plenty of readers I watch, um, you know, and I just crack up because I love they, they, the, just the way they are, the way they, they do their reading, the way that they don't give a fuck, okay, right? That's what, that's what makes you so unique, the way you handle things. Um, that's why they got different churches. Everybody don't go to the same church. Everybody ain't worshiping this church or that church. Everybody goes to what they want to go to. That's why when you go to the store, you buy what you want to eat. The next person ain't going to eat what you eat, right? Everybody got their own flavors, but ain't no need for nobody to knock nobody down. That's crazy. I just had to say that because I just, I'm not lying. I'm in the shower looking at somebody and they said that. I'm like, ain't that some shit? Like, that's crazy. And I have a lot of respect for her. But, and I'm not saying that's her way of thinking. That's the way she sees things. You understand? But it's just crazy how people can be. And just imagine if somebody just started a YouTube and they, they ain't got a, a, a place to do it and they're doing it their way or, or doing it outside on the porch or doing it in a car. I don't know. But it's wrong. No, it's right. You're getting your point across to somebody. You're going to help somebody in the world. So don't worry about what nobody else say or leave comments or whatever. That I don't even listen to that crap. And I'll tell you, when I get down to them comments and they leave crazy stuff, I just politely say what I got to say to them. And then I may leave them there because I know they ain't going to come back because I'm blocking their ass. It's just that simple. I don't feed off of that. But um, I was just saying for all those who are going to start a YouTube channel, don't feed off a of negative because you're going to have a lot of people out here that's going to talk negative about you. And you're going to have a lot of people that's going to like you. It's all good. I love you. All right? So thank you for all those who like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And for those who share. And for those who get me. Get me. Get my way of what I do. Okay? Um, and um, continue to like me and subscribe to me and show me love. For real. Um, by the way, and this is, see, this is kind of candle. I wish, you know, when I was reading her, I could have, if she was in a, if I had this candle, I would have blew it on her. Because very negativity stuff. Okay? Very negative. All right? But um, her style of reading is a beautiful thing. But just the mouth, the stuff that come out of her mouth, she's feeding into the universe. And you don't do that. Okay? Um, but this candle here is for people like that. They, they don't want the best. For other readers. They don't want the best for you. That is up there talking shit. Throwing dirty shit up in the air. Um, to the universe. And they know who they're talking about. Right? But I call people like that cowards. Because they can say blah blah blah. But it is what it is. Alright? Um, I just want to say. That this candle is the candle to break spells. And that is why I always have um, the... Um, evil eye on my hand because for everything that they talking or whatever you wish on me back to you reverse it back to you boo boo okay reverse it back to you all right it is what it is you know um this is abundance prosperity um creativity all right for you um what are you doing see i don't play honey i, I make sure i got god all over me this is to love yourself, but it come in pink, not in red. All right? I did the red. And the rest of the candles are sent behind me. These are the ones that I use for myself. I also have all kinds of crystals, all kinds of uh, Walmart crystal, all kinds of crystals, okay? All kinds, all kinds of stones, okay? All kinds of stones, all right? All kinds, tiger eyes, all kinds, jewelry. All kinds of jewelry. Um, baths. Um, herb baths. Salt baths. All right? Salt baths. Um, sage. Pineapple sage. And that comes with Palo Santo. Okay? And 
Oh, I don't have my thing. I wanted to burn that Palo Santo. Okay. So anyway, let's get started with this reading. I just asked God to show me the light and show me the way. And tell me what I need to know and what I need to see in this tarot reading that I'm giving to you. And also to myself because I am a Pisces. I also ask God to move the energy away from my reading um, that I'm giving to you. Move, Remove my energy away from you. And I also ask God to please keep you in abundance and in, in, in good health. Okay? And that... Um, you don't have to dwell on anything that ain't right for you. All right? All right, spirits. Tell me what, and I hope that everybody is feeling good this afternoon. All right? Um, I feel like I'm outgrowing a lot of things in my life. And I don't see things like I used to. Uh, I don't let things bother me. Um, I just feel like I'm in a good place. Okay? All right, so let me finish shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. All right, I wish I knew how to be able to show you the cards on the phone or whatever and not show you me. That would be so nice. At the bottom of the card, you got the Queen of Wands, okay? She looked like she's ready to go somewhere, and she looked like she's dressed, and she got all kinds of things going in that. A bun, a bun, uh, getting all dressed up to attend a party, um, looking over a balcony. I wonder what she's looking at, okay? But over and holding on to that wands, like very creative, something new, something exciting, all right? Um, ready to walk in the door and be like, oh, standing on a balcony watching everybody watch you. Yes, honey, okay? Yes. All eyes on you. Yeah, all eyes on you. All right, now tell me what Pisces need to know, spirits. And we enter in Leo season, the strong, standing strong and firm. Okay, yeah, standing up to that. Leo is in the house and it's fire. Light that damn motherfucking fire up. All right. Um, it's crazy because, um, we just left, uh, uh, um, we just left cancer, right? So now we are on Leo. Leo started the 22nd. All right. They started on the 22nd. The day is the 26th. So Leo's been in that motherfucking house. Ruined. <laughs> Ooh. Show me. Okay. And not only that, it's a fixed sign. Ooh, they, they can be stubborn on um, one track mind, baby. Okay, and it's the sun, represents the sun. All right, just like cancer, big sign, right? Um, cancer is cargo, the moon. Oh, I'm sorry, why I say cancer? I didn't mean to say cancer. Um, yes, yes, Leo, the sun sign. Okay, um, and Leo get along really good with, um, Aquarius and Gemini, all right? Yes, they do. Aquarius and Gemini, Leo, get along with you, baby. All right, so tell me, tell me, tell me. Tell me what I need to know, what I need to see for my Pisces. Tell me what it is that I need to know. Uh, this time when card came out. So it come out again, right? It's coming out again, the tower, all right? Um, uh... The tower is telling you uh, that Mars. The tower is telling you that um, uh, something here is needs to be uh, corrected. Now, with that tower, could it be also that this tower has areas involved in that? Libra and Leo? Hey, the tower, Libra and Leo, right? Um, it, it represents something like that, all right? It got the strength of a Libra and Leo, a Libra balancing, but it's this tower, it's like cutting it, cutting it right in the middle. Look at that. Cutting that tree in half, the lightning cut the tree in half. 
Split that tree in half. In half. It ain't no saving that tree. Even the birds are flying from that tree. All right? It split that tree in half. And what they say, when something like that, run for your life. Right? Because it can damn sure do a lot of damage. So, but this damage is also may do damage, but it's the best thing because you're learning from this tower. It's something that you need to rethink and redo in a different way. Because the tower brings that where it, it, things are falling apart, right? But it's also a lesson. And I always say the tower represents when you are not wanting to move from something. Wanting to just be there no matter what, right? Um, being stubborn, right? But then when that tower hits, um, that's when God says, I'm going to make this happen because I gave you plenty of time to make up your mind, but you're not doing it, right? You, so when are you going to do it, right? So if you're not doing it and God keeps telling you, you need to do it, it's going to be a problem because you're going to learn from it. All right. It's going to be balanced in your life. You got to have the strength. After, after the tower, you get the strength, you balance things, and you move on. You learn from it. But it's a lesson here that you need to learn. And it's something here that you that maybe you need to change about you. All right? You you, you got to learn from it. That's like if, if a child keeps going to the... Um, stove, right? You keep going to the stove and you put your hand over that fire, you get burnt. You know it, it hurts. But then you go again and do it. And you go again and do it. Until you get fucking burnt so damn fucking bad. They're going to have to replace your damn skin. Right? And then you learn not to ever touch it again. You learn a lesson. It hurts. It stings. It bubbles up. All right? Your skin will be marked. And that's what it feels like. It feels like you need to learn from this lesson. Or you need to not only learn, but do things in a more different way. Right? Tell me more. Tell me more, spirits, about this. Tell me more about this lesson here that needs to be learned. So, you got the ace of cup. Look at you. You are... Uh, uh, hugging the candle, hugging. Look, but look at you, butterfly baby. Yes, you got. Um, you got. Uh, what you got? You got. Um, uh, snowflakes. All right. You got. It's like a bed of ice. Right. But you happy. You smiling because after the tower, um, you get that that cup, and you learn from it. When you learn from it. Then you grow. You it's like you become a grown up. It's like you it's like you graduating from a lesson that you learned that you had to learn from, right? And with that lesson that you learn, right? You come into um, Gemini, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You come into this cup that's given to you. It's like you burning. I'm telling you, somebody is burning either love candles. Something here is is like you're burning. A, a candle, love, or you, it's something here that you holding on, right, to, that you want and that you are uh, manifesting, all right, it, it, it taught you a lesson now to look at it in a different way, and when you start looking at things in a different way, you grow, things become easier, relationships, whatever it is, that is this um, great big cup. Of emotions that you're coming into is pretty big. It's not where it's something small. It's pretty big. It's the ace. You know? All right? So, this is good because this is what you needed. You needed this. You needed to, um, either somebody's going to be writing you a love letter. They're going to be flirting with you. A sign from sorts or, um, your angel. This, um, it's like, it's all around you. Maybe somebody getting a new house, okay? Um, it's something here that helps you process your emotion and it increase your intuition in your sight. It takes it 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 is taken 
to heart that a message of the highest priest who you are and goes within and have a reflection at that time. So it's something that you reflected inside of you, but it's something pretty big. Okay? And it's a change inside of you that's happening. This is the beginning of a beautiful new emotion experience, and that's what happened. Once you get over this Kabbalah moment, you're learning something new, and it's about your emotions, controlling them, seeing things in a different way. Sometimes it's like this. Since I can't beat you, I'm going to join you, and that's the way to look at it. Since you can't never win with, the, with, a, with a situation, why not join it, and then you get more out of it? Yes, you will. Trust me when I tell you, okay? Um, but this could be um, a reflector of meeting someone who will have an impact, all right, on your life. Sometimes it's a powerful new romance in relationships. So maybe somebody is new or somebody's coming in your life to impact this beautiful emotion that's coming in. It can also be a um, rekindle of a romance of somebody coming back. Right? Um, that's already existed. Other time it could be a new friendship, okay? Um, what um it's like a platantic uh deep emotion, something here that is new, it could be something coming like new from the old, or it but it's a new way of, of feeling, a new way of seeing things. New things coming to you, new beginnings. Um, whether it's with the old coming into the new or a whole new thing. Or maybe you had a friend that now you are seeing them. Okay? But it's something here that had to happen for this whole thing to come the way it came. In a whole new way. Thank you. Tell me more about this, this cup. Tell me more about this cup. This ace of cup. Alright? Spirits, give me one card. The King of Swords, all right? So I feel like this is all new thing. This King of Swords got their sword up. Um, and, and it's got a book. So what is this book? Um, knowledge. What do they got in that book? What do they, what do they know? It's like they know something. It's like they got a receipt of something. You know, and it's crazy because the receipt here shows, the what it shows is it shows the six of of cups, right? Did, did, did is this person here? Um, did you see him with somebody? All right, is did you? This king is holding a secret. Maybe they think um you're seeing someone else, or you, or you, or they seeing somebody else, but they keeping it a secret. They don't want you to know about it, right? Um, is that what brought this tower moment? Did this person, you know? After all of this, maybe this time of moment come because this person wants a new beginning with you and, uh, you know, from the past or somebody is new. But somebody here is this king of sword is like they keeping something to themselves that they know. OK, they don't tell everything they know, but they got receipts to everything. Now, this king can be we talk about um, energy. It could be you. It could be them. Okay, um, but it's like somebody here know something and they don't say everything they know. All right. Somebody's thinking about this. Um, is this person seeing someone else? Did you see him with somebody else? Did they see you with somebody else? All right. Because somebody here is looking at somebody um, um, in, in, in the water with another person. Like is this is this lady or whoever this king a a a sore is are they are they are they are they going in their head and their emotions about somebody seeing somebody? I mean, are are they fixed because no um I, I, this person wants to start a new life with you want to come back a new but you and yourself it's like you keep thinking somebody here is seeing somebody else. You know, so if you think that somebody here is seeing somebody else, then that's what you think. Like you can, you can create whatever you want in your own head. Okay. Um, 
But this king, is it somebody from your past is coming back? And it said it, because it said it with this ace of cup. Somebody new, a friend, turn into a romance, or somebody all new for real, or somebody old coming like a whole new person. Right, but but it's but I feel like this King of Swords. It's like oh, it's like I feel like I don't know, Pisces. This might be you. Like oh, I know they secrets and I know who they was with. And it's like you dwelling on the past, and it's like oh, you dwelling on something that you think you know, right? Um, that was that happened already. Like this person, you caught them seeing somebody that was cheating on you. Um. It's like you keep, cause I don't, I don't feel like, I just feel like, cause this ain't nobody gonna be in no water with a suit on, right? And dress like that. I feel like that's you, constantly thinking about the past, the past, the past. Or I don't care if you've seen this person, you just start a relationship, you've been knowing this person, whatever it is, in your mind, in your head, it's like, oh, they seeing this person, oh, they got somebody. And that is the past because the present is today. The past was yesterday, the day before, it's whatever. But it was a time of moment here that happened. But this person wants all new beginnings with you. They want to, it's like this person is trying to come to you. It's trying to be different. It's trying to do everything. But you stuck in your mind and, oh, I got receipt. And I know they're doing this and I know they're doing that. All right. It's like you always thinking Thinking, 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 thinking. I got boo, 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 right? But in your mind, in your head, it's like you can't let something go. That happened in the past. Okay? That happened already. You you can't change something that already happened. You can move on from it, but you can't change it. All right? So let's see what else is, is you need to know. All right? Tell me about this tower. The sun. The sun is the yes, okay? But look, look at a camel walking through that water, walking through something that ain't got no damn water. But them camels are going to make it through that. All right, you know why? Because camels can hold that water. All right, they can walk through the desert with no problem. All right? Um, so it, you moving along, okay? You, you survived this tower. You survived it. And that sun is shining on you. What? A, a third eye. The third eye. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Shining on you like that third eye. Saying, no matter what, baby, you done made it. You done crossed the desert. All right? You made, you 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 rolled the storms. And you, you coming through it. All right? Tell me about this ace. Tell me more about this ace, ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups. Egyptian. Something, and this is reminding me something way back. Ancestors. Way, I mean past ancestors. I mean way, way, way. Okay? Egyptian style. Alright? Look at the writings on the wall. Look at the, um, the eye, the evil eye, the left and the right. Look at the, uh, the cobra. Everything is Left and right. Okay, the number eight. All right? The number eight. Now, if I look at the number eight, right, it shows the strength. If it's showing on the number eight on the tarot card. Strength. Right? Look at them eyes. Look at the wings. All right? Look at the heart. Just look at the colors, the way it looks. But who is behind this? All right? Because I feel like it's someone sitting in a frame. All right? Something old, very old, very ancient. I feel like maybe it's like you've been here many, 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 many moons, many, many years Many, many years ago, you are, um, how they say, um, you age well, all right? You, you, you're telling a story. It's like a 
It's like your shit has been around many, many years ago. All right? Many moons ago. All right? You walk. You walk through the storms, honey. All right? You age like wine. All right? People are wanting to see you. All right? Uh, but look at, look at this. You can't make this up. Look. Look at that. Look at that. You're very, and these cards, beautiful because, look at this, um, it reminds me of how I live. You're very, you're, maybe you're traveling to Japan or um, one of those countries, or maybe you are Buddha, or maybe you study this, okay? But it shows your money, it shows your wealth, okay? Your abundance. It shows that you humble, that you sitting there humble, and that there's a bridge there, and it's, that bridge is not humongously, it's very small, okay? Very small. But you're very humble. You alone, all right? And it shows alone in this picture, too. And it shows alone in this, all right? Um, but the next card right next to it, you got the tree of life with all kinds of birds on it. I mean, all kinds. Rabbits. Two rabbits. But to, to, to roll in the mountains, look at the greeneries, look at the mountains, look at the roll. You know, this, this roll, you, you can barely see the roll. But you see so much green and you see this, this tree full of life that um, these birds are... They got it got more birds. It, it, it seemed like it got a bird on, on every okay on every limb of the tree. All right, you're growing, you're gonna grow. A lot of growing. Um, I feel like you grown a lot from from where you started with that with that tower moment. You grown a lot, all right. Um you being more gentle with the situation. But the thing about it is that you grew a lot. You grew a lot. And with that, with the card that came out, right? The card that came out with the King of Swords is the six. But it's like you gotta get out of your head and in all of these situations that you play in your head because you're looking beautiful, you're looking marvelous. You're growing. I feel like it's a lot of growth. All right? And it but it took it took some time for you to get here. And I'm gonna say it again. If you can't beat them, you join them. You join them. And that's when you win. Because you you can't beat someone that's their mind is set or whatever. It's it's just like it, it's just a waste of time. So just join, join them. And I swear to you. Things will be rolling along for your ass. All right? Let's see what is to come that you don't see. Because right now, I feel like you you really got that third eye open. You know how to act. And you know what you want. And you're moving forward. You, you nurturing yourself. Right? You got the seven of pinnacles here. Look at you. Running. This look like, uh, like something in Rome. All right? Somebody, like you run it there, all right? What what are you running to, all right? What are we doing here? Like seven of pentacles, like where are we running to with this seven? Like, um, um, it's like, it's, it's a strong position now. It's a study pro progress, right? Whatever it is that you run into is, is a good thing. As you give thanks for what you're about to harbor, you know that your life is headed in the right direction. It's like you run into where you need to be. All right? And what that comes from is learning yourself. And once you learn yourself, everything becomes easy because you can't... It's like you need to go with the grain and not go against it. Okay, go with the flow. Just go with the flow. All right? 
uh, fake it until you make it. You know, fake it. Just fake it because when you fake it, it's going to be right there for you. All right? Tell me more. The three of swords. Oh, Lord. So you run it because you know you days is going to be right. But then, look at this. But when you get there, when you get there, somebody's going to be, is it a fight between two men? Did somebody, did somebody get, is somebody going to get stabbed? Because if somebody is seeing two different guys and somebody's going to get hurt. You're running, you, you're making a lot of progress, but Pisces, are you seeing two different guys? Somebody is about to get hurt. One of these guys is about to get hurt, for real, for real. Okay? Somebody got to win, and the person that's going to get hurt is the person that you really want to be with. Really want to be with, okay? Because somebody here is going to get, somebody here, and I'm telling you, some, oh, Jesus. Somebody here is going to get married. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Somebody here is about to get married. All right? Somebody, but the thing about it is, with this marriage card comes the tower. So is it that the person that hurt the other person is the person that wanted to marry you and now... Or they seen they self marry you, or they seen they self doing something, but things is gonna fall apart there. Or is it, you know, are you gonna marry somebody that is a lesson there to be learned from? Cause I feel like you you're going in the right direction, but somebody is gonna get hurt. With this three of swords. Somebody here is going to literally get stabbed. Maybe in an argument, a fight. You got the towel moment. So it's this towel moment saying that this is coming. This argument is fighting. And then it's going to be a wedding. Somebody got to get hurt for this wedding to... Is it, some, is it somebody seeing two people... And one of these people are gonna get hurt, and one of the, and the person, and then you gonna marry somebody? It's gotta be a towel moment before it can be a wedding. Mm, 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 mm. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this. The eight of cups. I feel like. Whoever this person is, I don't know if they marry, they get married, but it's a tower here. Okay? It, 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 I mean, you want to marry somebody, but it's a tower moment's going to happen for you. The eight of um, cups, it's like you need to walk away because this person likes to see a lot of women. It's like you're not the only one. This person looked to me like they're having fun with other women. So you you are you married to somebody, and all it is is a time or moment that's going to happen from this marriage because it's not a, it's like you might love this person, but this person's not loving you as much as you love them, and this person's still involved or being seen or is with someone else because it shows the being seen. All right, tell me more about this three of of of, of um swords. Three, it's three. It's a party of three here. Is this person married? They may have a towel moment. But this person likes a lot of women. Is you walk away and from all of this? Tell me more about this um three of of swords. The devil. Jesus. Somebody here is very attracted to somebody need to actually somebody need to take the mask off. Somebody got all kinds of, uh, 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 the, just a lot of faces on them. It's, this person is not being true to themselves. It's not being true to who they with. All right? This person is seeing more than one person. This person is addicted to sex. But 
they are addicted to a woman is very spicy, sexy, okay? Like they got to have her. Hmm. Is this person's got to have you for sex? Is this how they see you? Is this person married? They getting ready to go to a towel moment? It seems like somebody walking away from everything because it's like you can't get nowhere with this person. No matter how much you try, no matter how much you love them. You know they're a cheater. You know they, they can never be faithful to you. Ooh, Pisces. I don't know, Pisces. You got the tower twice. And, and that's pretty deep. The, you got the, the tower twice. You got the devil. All right? Damn. Yes. You got the tower and the devil twice. And they're major arcanas. And that's some serious shit. The tower and the devil. Mm-mm-mm. Double tower and the devil. That's some serious shit there. Pisces, if you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. This sounds very serious. All right, Pisces, I'll talk to you later. Bye.